hey guys it's Harriet and I'm making this video to show you guys how to sync your music from your iTunes onto your Android phone now with the Android phone it could be the Samsung Galaxy S3 the Samsung Admire uh, Evos um, any Android phone this should work for so first thing you want to do um, I'm gonna switch to the camera to show you guys what you need to do um, on your computer so first thing you want to do you want to go to your Play Store your Google Play Store and download an app called easy phone sync right here easy phone sync now you want to download that application and then you want to go to easyphonesync.com I believe let me make sure that's what it is I don't want to give you guys the wrong information let me make sure come on Jeez, man. Yes, easyphonesync.com and download and install the Easy Phone Sync desktop software on your PC or your Mac computer. So after you do that, um, you run it and uh, install everything or whatever, and it'll begin importing messages or uh, photos or anything like that that you may have or you can also restore from the backup or of um, an iPod that you have listed so let's go ahead and switch so I'll show you guys on my computer what you need to do okay so I'm gonna show you guys how to do it from here so what you want to do is plug your phone up into the computer and then after you've done um, you know installing and everything like that let me do this you're gonna see this on your computer and it looks similar to the um, the way that the uh, iTunes looks when you plug in your iPod it's not the same but it's, it's similar so you want to go to your settings for the phone setup hit next and I'm going to do this on my card so you hit next and then you can choose to put all the music in the library on the phone which I don't recommend if you have a lot of music like I do or you can create a playlist and I created a playlist right here called Galaxy S3 music and what you want to do I'm going to show you right now I'm going to add a song this is my iTunes here and this is my playlist I have 159 songs on it so okay I'm going to add Aaliyah I'm going to add, let's see, one, two, and three, four. I'm going to add four of Aaliyah's songs. So I'm going to drag these down here to my playlist. Okay. Now we're going back. To the playlist and I have 163 songs now so you can minimize this on your computer and then again select the playlist if you want to do that or you can just copy all the music okay now you hit next if you have podcasts you want to put on the phone you can do that you can choose to copy all your podcasts if you have any or you can have a selected podcast that you want to put on the phone but I'm not gonna do that so hit next 
You can also copy data from another iPod or an iPhone that you may have. So this is my iPod, my boyfriend's iPod, my boyfriend's old iPhone, and my mom's iPod. You can copy text messages, address books, contacts, um, calendar, photos, notes. You can copy all of that. Um, but I don't want to do that, so I'm going to hit next. And right here, you can um, have the album synchronized. Uh, the like the album art you can put that on there um, you can do it for the previously added tracks and you can sync now which is what I'm gonna do you click finish and this is what it looks like right here now it's synchronizing the tracks the Aaliyah tracks to the phone and also um, some other stuff that I had on here. Updating the playlist. And it's done. So, I'm gonna go to my phone to my music and as you can see right there it has a Leah on there very loud and my Carrie Hilston that I put on here right there Okay, so you guys can see that it works. And if you have any questions or concerns, just leave your comment below. I will get all the comments and I will reply to anyone who needs help. So thank you guys for watching and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.